2019. Today I have some really fantastic guests with me. They are uh, from the Thomas C. Armstrong Middle School. And I'll just have them quickly wave and then I'm gonna talk to their teacher. So I have Callista with me. Go ahead and wave. Let me bring you guys up on the big screen here. Callista, I have Jaden. Wave Jaden, thanks. And Araya. Araya, great. Thank you all. Uh, but let me first introduce their teacher. Jill Johnson is the Enrichment Technology Coordinator at Wayne. And um, Jill, do you wanna just tell me your role what we're talking about today is hackathons, and the three students here are hackathon winners. And Joe, can you just talk about your role in getting these students a part of the hackathon? Well, my role was to help organize and facilitate the process. I really acted as a mentor to these three students. They've been studying, doing some work on equal rights and implicit bias, so we thought the Create-a-thon would be a great way to showcase their learning problem solve and help them grow as students and learners. I'm gonna step out now. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let me just uh, do a little more introduction to the students. So Callista, you are you live with your wonderful parents. You have a little sister, Addie, and three dogs, Kip, Charlotte, and Brownie. Those are awesome names. And you play midfield for the Wayne Modified team and Wayne Wings. And uh, you're always up for a challenge. Jaden, on the other hand, is uh, he plays defense for Wayne's modified soccer team. And an interesting fact about Jaden is he has a twin brother, Corbin, and he also has a little sister, Olivia. Araya is uh, an only child and has two cats, Max and Sugar. And she enjoyed really uh, participating in this uh, create a thon. Uh, so, Tell me about, let's start there. Tell me about the hackathon or your create-a-thon winning idea. So um, our goal was to raise teacher awareness of gender bias in the classroom and to encourage girls to join our middle school robotics club. While our school offers a robotics club for fifth and sixth grade students, the majority of students in the club are boys. The robotics club advisor noted that when she asked teachers for recommendations for club participants, she overly they over the teachers overwhelmingly recommended boys. In our research, we discovered that most people have unconscious biases, stereotypes formed through their experiences, their culture, and their education. Unconscious bias can be a problem in education if teachers limit student opportunities because of this bias. We believe the first step needed to combat unconscious gender bias is to develop an awareness of the problem. We created a Padlet and an unconscious bias in the classroom quizzes to educate teachers about unconscious gender bias. We also discovered that while female students do as well or better than their male classmates in high school or college classwork, only 6.7% of women graduate from college with a STEM-related degree, compared to 17% of men. By encouraging participation in the robotics club, we believe more girls may become interested in studying STEM-related fields in college. We created an infographic to encourage girls to join robotics club. We plan to print our infographic and to use it as a tool to recruit girls. We shared our Padlet with 5th and 6th grade teachers in the hopes that they will encourage both boys and girls to join robotics. We have some. We have already had some teachers try out our quizzes and we hope to have more teachers try it out in the future. So our Padlet, the Padlet is called Teachers, Why You Should Choose Girls for Robotics. First, we defined gender bias. Then we went into, de into the details of robotics club within Wayne Central School District. Next, we educated teachers about why girls should be in robotics and STEM. And then teachers can uncover their unconscious bias by playing a gender bias quiz that was created to find out if you are implicitly biased. After taking the quiz, Teachers can learn strategies to promote gender equity in the classroom. So our quizzes is an our quizzes is an online quiz that can help teachers find out if they have an unconscious bias. The teachers will then compare their scores to ranges in which they place for how much bias they either have or don't have. Since we made this ourselves, it highlights what we were talking about for gender bias. So after the quiz, you get a score and the guidelines are like this. If you get um, an 89 to a, oh wait. If you get an 100 to a 90, you're doing very well, keep doing what you're doing, and now the only thing that you could do to help to raise awareness is, 
is to raise awareness of the problem to your colleagues. If you get an 89 to a 60, you are good, but you could be better. Maybe look at strategies to promote equity. Um, if you go to 59 to a 40, you're biased. You should either look at strategies to be more fair, or as people, you know, like how they do it. Um, and if you get a 39 to like a zero, um, watch out. You're extremely biased and need to find ways to be more equitable. Our Techco chart is an infographic advertising robotics for girls. We have reasons why girls should join in a bold, colorful, eye-grabbing graphic. We made and created this ourselves, and we understand our target audience because we are sixth graders, well, we were sixth graders, <laughs> advertising mm -hmm. to fifth graders. This is what the infographic looks like. Um, she's a queen. <laughs> it has photos of Callista, her our reasoning, and a little um, blurb about what robotics club is and why girls should join. Okay. So how, uh, that's a great project and I'm really amazed. Uh, I brought up the Padlet while you were talking so people can get a, a frame of reference on that. Uh, how did you like working through the design process, uh, working together collaboratively with uh, your other students or you together? All right. Um, it was very fun working through design, the design process because Sometimes we did succeed a lot, and if we didn't, we would fix it on. We would try to fix it as soon as we can, and yeah, it was just really, really fun. It was fun, like identifying the problem, and then we did an empathy map, like with how teachers would feel if we brought it up, and then um, we came up with ideas, and we prototyped, and then we finished it, and then we got feedback from a mentor from NYSCATE, which was really helpful. Yeah, the mentor was definitely helpful. Um, it was very fun to be able to identify the problems, um, do some empathy mapping, mapping, make solutions by using our ideas, and fix problems. Do you think this process is going to help you prepare for your future? Um, yeah, because you're gonna, we're going to be able to collaborate, solve problems, be creative, and receive constructive criticism, and that will definitely help me in my future plans. Okay. From doing this uh, um, creative thing, oh, did you want to say something? Go ahead. Um, uh, yes, this definitely did help the ability to collaborate with other people, um, share ideas, come up with solutions to certain problems, and be creative will help me with my future. Alright, uh, it shows that I have teamwork, collaboration, and you get construction, constructive criticism, and it definitely help me for future events. Yeah, I think you guys have hit on really some essential skills uh, that I think will, will do well for you as in the future. I think collaboration is going to be a key uh, process going forward for, uh, for the future of work in general. Uh, from doing this create a do you think this is something that could be done in other schools? Um, yeah, because it was very organized, fun, and it was really mind-stretching to hear a bunch of problems and creative solutions using technology. Anyone else? No? Okay. So tell me about your future plans. Um, well, I don't really have any as of right now, but if I had to choose, I'd probably go to school for something musical. Um, I, just like a ride, I really don't have any future plans that I can think of, but I would probably do a career that involves technology. I hope I can go to like a good college and become a lawyer and keep playing soccer, but I'm still open to like getting more ideas. Okay. Okay, so now we are on to the Speed Geek question. So these are just short answer and quick highlights. So first question for all of you is, what is your favorite book? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> wow, all three. Okay. Do you like just the whole series or? Whole series, movies, other books, just everything. Great. All right. Yeah, it is a really fantastic series. 
Okay, and then the next one is, what is your favorite way to unplug from technology? Uh, I normally play piano. I like to either play soccer or read. I like to play soccer and play my clarinet. Okay, so those are all pretty productive things to do. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. This has been a real pleasure, and congratulations on your create -a -thon win. It really says a lot that you uh, put this together and organized it, and uh, I'll definitely be sharing out your Padlet so other teachers can see it because it's an important issue for uh, teachers to be aware of. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for thank having you. us. Okay. <laughs>